Hi Aquarius, this is Wendy from Wendy's Tarot. Welcome to my channel. In this video, I'm going to be doing a freestyle reading, taking a look at the current energies between you and your person, whoever it is that you are connecting to and dealing with in love. All right, let's go ahead and get started. Just as a reminder, these are general readings. They might not resonate for everyone, but if it resonates for you, please give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. If you haven't already, I'd really appreciate it. Keep in mind, roles can be rever reversed sometimes in these readings, and also my readings are for Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus signs. One more thing I wanted to say is please be careful of scammers that are out there pretending to be me. If you receive a message from someone offering you a personal reading, even if they have my name and my picture, please be aware that that is not me, that is a scammer. So please be careful and ignore those messages. All right, Aquarius, let's take a look at your current energy first in regards to love. Let's see. Spirit, angels, and guides, please show me the current energy of Aquarius in regards to love. Thank you, Spirit. We have the hangman. Okay. We have temperance in reverse. Okay. You're trying to see things from a different perspective. You're trying to look at things from a different perspective. The five of swords. Mm, you're taking some time off. Knight of Pentacles in reverse. Two of Cups upright. And the Three of Pentacles in reverse. You're taking some time off to, to cool off. To cool down. From some sort of um, argument here. Fight, disagreement, conflict or drama that you went through with someone. You lost control in some way. You, you felt affected here in some way. And it looks like you're taking some time off because you need to recover your balance with the temperance in reverse. It, it made you upset, whatever, whatever this is. Or something currently, it's making you upset. Let me see, at the bottom, Page of Wands is at the bottom with the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords, yeah. And that Page of Wands, Ten of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Ten of Swords. Um, so things got really ugly between you two, between you and somebody else. There was a there was a painful ending. Knight of Wands, Six of Cups, Emperor. Five of Wands and the Fool. It looks like some sort of heated argument. Some sort of heated argument, some sort of heated fight. And it looks like you two separated without resolving whatever issue um, existed. And somebody walked away from the conflict because they didn't want to deal with the drama anymore. And I feel like that's you with the hangman. You removed yourself from the situation before things escalated into into something worse you didn't want something to keep escalating 
So you decided to break away with the Five of Pentacles and the Ten of Swords. But this is someone who you really care about here. There's someone who you really care about with the Two of Cups. But look at this Two of Cups. It's, it's right in the middle of Knight of Pentacles in Reverse and Three of Pentacles in Reverse. So there's a lot of love here with the Two of Cups, but things are not functioning well between you two with the Knight of Pentacles and Three of Pentacles. Things are not functioning. You two are not, are not being successful at getting on the same page with each other. There's really bad communication between each other. You two don't understand each other's language. You are feeling kind of defeated here, Aquarius. And whatever this is, you're feeling kind of defeated. You're feeling a little bit drained and and you're feeling like you don't quite know how to fix things here. You don't know what to do or to what to say. Or if you should do anything or say anything at all to begin with. All right, let's do a little clarification. I want to see the hangman because that does feel like your energy very strong. And it's the first card that came out. So tell me about the hangman spirit. The four of wands, okay, a relationship, and the moon, okay. So four of wands and the moon with the hangman. So there's a lot of questions here that you have in regards to this relationship with the four of wands. There's a lot of questions. There's a lot of doubts and uncertainties. Things are not looking very clear here. You're really lacking clarity in regards to where this relationship is heading. Right now, you don't feel like things are headed, heading in a good direction. And I feel like with the hangman, it's like you don't know if you should do anything about it, you know? It's like, things are not going well between us. Should I do anything about it? Or should I, or should I not do anything at all? Should, should I just, you know, allow things to be the way... Or, like, allow things to follow their natural course? Should I just go with the flow with whatever is happening right now? I feel like that's what you've been doing. I feel like you've been, you know, um, like letting go of control, kind of surrendering to the situation. But with the Five of Swords and the Two of Cups, I don't feel like you've completely get given up, you know? Especially with the moon also. When the moon shows up, it means that your emotions are still very much alive and very much attached. You're still questioning, you know, what's going on. So I don't feel like you've completely given up, but I do feel like you um, retracted your energy. I don't understand that page of wands though. What, why is the page of wands here, spirit? What's going on with the Page of Wands? Thank you so much, Spirit. Page of Pentacles, another page. Okay, it's like you want to fix this, you know? And the Eight of Cups. Yeah, look at that. This is a contradiction here. You see, you're, you're split. Page of Pentacles and the Eight of Cups. You're split between walking away from this or trying to resolve 
resolve whatever is going on between you two. Try to fix things and... This is like ex extending out an olive branch. Like, um, let's, let's agree to disagree type of energy. Can we, can, we di can we agree to disagree? Or can we try to put our differences our, aside? Or can we try to put our ego aside so that we can reestablish a friendship between us? Because it looks like there's not enough of a friendship base between you two. It looks like there's a lot of love, but the friendship part of it is missing. In, or it needs to be strengthened. There's a lack of trust. There might even be a lack of respect with the Five of Swords. So I feel like you're willing to, to try. But this person, whoever you're dealing with, might not be so willing. I'm not sure yet. I haven't looked at their energy, but I'm getting that a little bit here that you're, whoever you're dealing with might not be so willing to, to cooperate with you. It does look like you don't want to throw away the entire relationship, um, especially if it's something petty or something minor, you know, because that's what it feels like with the Page of Pentacles. It does feel like, you know, it's something that can be easily resolved if communication is, in, is improved upon. You know, I feel like communication could really go a long way for this relationship. Like more honest, honest, upfront communication here. All right, let's go to your person and see what's going on. I'm still a little, a little confused about what the situation is, but hopefully this resonates with you. Spirit angels and guides, please show me the energy of the person that Aquarius is connecting to and dealing with in love currently. Thank you, Spirit. One more. All right. First card we have in regards to your person, Aquarius, is, well, Page of Pentacles. That's interesting. This is the card that came out for you. Okay. Page of Swords. Oh, God. A lot of pages in this reading. Ace of Pentacles, Queen of Wands, Four of Swords in reverse, Seven of Pentacles in reverse. Okay, so this person is hesitant to, to give this another chance or to give this another try. Uh, but they definitely want a new beginning with you. Um, I just feel like they are putting on a performance here with the Queen of Wands. 
putting on a putting on a show, you know, um, be playing hard to get a little bit, you know, being a little bit resistant here and hesitant. Let's see, at the bottom of the deck, six of wands in reverse. With the temperance card. Oh, okay. Eight of wands in reverse. King of cups. Yeah, what did I say about communication? Here we have that communication um, theme showing up here. Six of wands in reverse, temperance, eight of wands in reverse. There's a big issue in communication between you two, and I feel like that can, that could make a big difference here. All right. And there's an issue of ego here on this person's part. I mean, uh, both of you, right? Because we have the five. We had the five of swords on your side, so it's it's not that you know you're perfect, Aquarius, but it does look like you're more willing to have a dialogue, have a conversation, and this person seems to be a lot, a little bit more held back in their energy. But they do want to heal the the issues between you two. They just don't feel very confident here with the Six of Wands in reverse. They don't have a lot of faith that things can be repaired. Yeah, look at the Ace of Swords in reverse here. Is that your person? I don't know. I feel like your person is just a drama being dramatic, I want to say, or like exaggerating. Why am I getting that energy like a exaggeration a little bit? Because we do have a lot of pages, so you know, I feel like this person might be acting un immature or delaying things here from getting better between you two unnecessarily. They might be acting very petty is what I'm feeling. Tell me about that page of sword spirit. Three of wands, 10 of cups in reverse, okay. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles, Eight of Swords in reverse, and the King of Swords upright. They're not really open, you know, that's the issue. They're not really open. They're very closed off. They're, they're being kind of narrow-minded here. They just don't really feel like they can believe anything that comes from you. They don't feel like they can trust this. Tell me about um, Six of Wands in Reverse Spirit. Six of Swords, Hermit in Reverse. What's the Queen of Wands, Four of Cups? There it is, Emperor, wow. Yeah, and what's the Ace of Pentacles? I feel like this is yeah, this is like a new beginning elsewhere. Knight of Pentacles in reverse and justice upright. Yeah, I feel like this pre this person is just thinking about walking away from this relationship, letting it go. Um, they just don't feel like they can trust it. They don't feel like there's enough evidence or enough proof to make them feel secure in, in giving this another try or another chance. They feel like they're better off just forgetting about all of this, 
forgetting about this opportunity with you. With the Ace of Pentacles, I really feel like this person is thinking about moving towards other opportunities. Yeah, I don't know. I just feel Aquarius like this person's heart is not in it. There's no cups here. There's no emotion here coming from this person, you know? Uh, I mean, well, we have the four of cups here, but it's like there's no there's no real strong emotion here or even passion or f like fire. There's no there's not much fire here. So I feel like this person just is feeling like they need to just focus on themselves and, you know, keep themselves in this single energy and in this independent energy and not really think about you anymore. I feel like they're trying not to think about you anymore. I feel like a part of them does want to heal heal whatever issues exist between you two. But I feel like this person is in an energy of like, it's too late. It might be too late already. It wouldn't make a difference. I'm already, you know, I'm already moving in a new direction. And I just don't have faith in the long-term future of this relationship. And with the emperor, you might be dealing with someone who's very career oriented. Um, they're very in, they're very interested in the material things with the ace of pentacles and the emperor, and they don't really connect with their own emotions very well. So I feel like this person is. you know, um, deciding to focus more on the material things in their life and on their career, their work, their money, and on moving towards new opportunities. It doesn't look like they're very, very open to love right now or relationships or being in a relationship right now. If that makes sense. Okay, Aquarius. All right. So I hope this helped you. Um, I hope, you, I hope it gave you some kind of clarity. Um, this is just the current energy. Maybe things change later on, but right now this is how this person is coming through. Okay, so I hope this helped you. Thank you for watching. I'll see you in my next video. Bye, guys. Take care.